Okay, everyone, I was just being a little funny on Hinge right there. <laughs> Look at this. It is I, your beloved commander. Uh, tonight, like, I wanted to do something different for, like, we just chatting. You know, like, obviously I wanted to be like, hey, we just chatting about games, all right? Like, late night streams, I decided to have a special itinerary of, oh, we just chatting about things. And I'm going to be real. I want to actually chat about video games tonight. You know, games. I'm a gamer. I love games. I love playing video games. All right. And oh, one of the things I want to chat about is the uh, Capcom voting poll. If I can find it, like, what, 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 like, how do you even find that thing? <laughs> like, I don't know how to find that thing. If anybody knows how to find that thing online, like, let me know because, like, holy freaking crap. I guess I put in like Capcom voting poll and like hold on like um I guess game poll okay okay here we go like gamer poll like hold on like oh it's election like Capcom on Super Town election. Few results okay yeah we're gonna bring this up because like holy freaking crap like i think this is kind of important because like i didn't know this was going on at the time and like i just want to talk about video games tonight for a bit you know like i'm having like a little bit of mashed potatoes you know like mmm taters all right i'm a texan i mean like i like taters i don't know what to tell you like i'm weird i'm weird but in a good way but in a good way yeah, like hold on, like let me let me try to bring up the display. Okay, here we here we go, here we go. Like so, this is the Capcom like voter poll direct. All right, let me just. Okay, here we go. Like I'm smaller now. I'm small, but it, I got where it counts. So like allow all to keep. So like, thank you everyone for voting. So I want to talk about this because like. First thing you say is um, a lot of people argue that oh, like all gamers are male and female, like half male, half female. Like that, that's what we're seeing here is majority of like gamers, at least people that enjoy Capcom properties. I cannot uh, like explain. I mean, other than that, other than like oh, this is like a lot of people that enjoy like Capcom video games. Or video games in general. I cannot say without a shadow of a doubt this affects all gamers. But this affects like a huge majority of the of, like gamers out there. And you see like, oh, 28% male. I mean, 82% male, 14% female, and 4% other. That, that means like we got aliens amongst us. We, we got robot automatons. We got aliens, you know. Oh, we got oh we got uh, some mutants, maybe some like cryptics or like fiends out there, or monsters. I, I don't know, but <laughs> it's interesting to bring up. So, uh, yeah, yeah, um, this whole ordeal, like, be like, oh, so this is the voting results. This is what we got, and it's quite an interesting take. It's quite the interesting take right here. Holy crap! So we got. 28% male, 14% female, and 4% other. So, that's a lot to take in, realizing, oh, a lot of majority of gamers are male. I've said this before, obviously, how, like, certain women feel about men playing games all the time and trying to make a career out of it for a side job and all that kind of stuff, you know, like, oh, they become streamers and they play video games, and a lot of females, like, I'm gonna take your PS5 and throw it in the bathtub. Like, they'd be like that. Or, like, I'm going to take your Xbox and, like, throw it in the garbage. Or, like, I'm going to take your Switch and put it in the garbage disposal. <laughs> like, freaking monsters, okay? Like, what the heck is wrong with women and uh, hate men enjoying video games? I have no freaking clue. Like, my beloved, my Rachel, like, nah, she loves games, too. She's a girl. She's a woman, you know? Like, she loves games. I love games. 
Right now, she's currently playing games on her cell phone. I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, yeah. And we see, like, the ratio of, like, the votes. And who's freaking on top? Who is on top with the most, like, votes? And this is, like... Yeah, it's a freaking United States of America. I don't know what to tell you. Like, who comes in second, though? Like, Japan's, like, second place. You know what? You know what? Bet, bet. Like, who's third? You're going to Brazil. <laughs> it's Brazil. You're kidding me. You're. I, who thought Brazil loves video games? Like, Canada's only at three. Wow, the father of me to be Taka or not is like, gotta feel insulted about that one. Like, Mexico is three. China is three. Okay, so I got thoughts on this. It's just because they don't allow, like, a lot of other gaming properties in China. Like, China comes up with all their own video games. Like, cell phone games, video games, like, knockoff games. Here, there, everywhere. Knockoff, knockoff, knockoff games. Here and there, everywhere. Like, that's why, like, when they vote, they don't be, they are unable to vote for, like, games that are, like, globally released. And, like, oh, well, no, like, United Kingdom's at four. Uh, you know what? Get, you know what? Give it up for the Brits. Give it up for the Brits of the United Kingdom. Nah. Like, they're at four, so, like, first, second, third, fourth. Like, China, Mexico, oh, and Canada are, like, third, fifth. And Germany, Spain, and France is sixth. The reason with, like, Germany, Spain, and France are, like, six, like, it's very well known that they have, like, heavy gaming restrictions of games. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all other than, like, these three companies have the heaviest restrictions on different type of games that can be brought out in their respective country. And it really does rob them. China has it as well. But China comes up with all their own original games. I, I don't know what to tell you other than that. Uh, United Kingdom has restrictions. But not as much compared to, like, you know, these four right here. I heard Mexico, like, it, like Mexico itself, why, like, there's not very many gamers or, like, voters in, like, Mexico is because, like, the country is so freaking poor. No wonder why, like, everybody's literally trying to jump the border into the U.S. They know, like, their country is, like, shit. And they, they just want to game. They want to come to the U.S. They want to game. They want to game, all right? Like, that's... I feel y'all, but at the same time, like, y'all got to do it within the boundaries of the law. I, I'm just saying here. Like, Canada 3, Canada literally has a lot of restrictions. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to, like, gamers in Canada... They can make China blush with their restrictions. I, I'm not kidding on that. Like, congratulations, there's the old uh, calm survey elections have been decided. Two crowns, Devil May Cry 5 and Devil May Pierre and Devil May Cry series. Number one character, number one title. Uh, debatable. Uh, debatable? Like, like, which of the following ga Capcom games do you like the best? Devil May Cry, Resident Evil 4, Dino Crisis. Okay, so, like, Devil May Cry, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, for Capcom, it is a revolutionary title. I mean, like, it does get noticed, like... It does get noticed, alright? Like, we, we... I don't know what I did there. The best and like what you see here devil may cry 3 monster hunter resident evil 2 resident evil 2 remake not gonna lie really good like people that gripe about the resident evil series not being like more realistic or like to the real world like what is wrong with you that's literally at 8 4 devil may cry okame yeah okame needs some love okay like i'm not gonna lie like okame needs to do a game needs some love monster hunter I don't even play it. I don't really have much to say on Monster Hunter. I mean, like, 
I did play like with um Mega Man and like a cell phone game like the crossover events they were pretty cool and like there was also a crossover event with Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis that was really neat I love that I love the floodgates that that opened yet again I love the floodgates with Final Fantasy and like Monster Hunter you know like Square Enix Capcom being buddy buddy with a collab and like that kind of stuff it's really cool kind of opens up the other floodgates for like things like Devil May Cry Resident Evil or even a Breath of Fire. Now, Breath of Fire at 10, the only reason, like, it's so low on the list, because, like, we have not seen a new Breath of Fire game since the PS1 era. Like, no joke, no scam. There has not been a new Breath of Fire title since, like, ever since PS1 ended, all right? A Resident Evil 4, not the. A 2, Monster Hunter World, like... Like the world, like Devil May Cry, Dino Crisis, view more. The world versus Japan. So, like, globally versus Japan. So, like, number one is Devil May Cry, Dino Crisis. The main reason Dino Crisis is so high, like, everybody that's like, I can only imagine how many people, I feel like Dino Crisis is an underappreciated game and how it feels like, oh, we need that love, like, give us it before, like, the Mega Man thing, like, here's the thing, between Mega Man and Dino Crisis, Mega Man is the face of the company. Like, Capcom, what's the one thing you think about Capcom? When you hear the, na the company name Capcom, what comes to mind? Mega Man, aka Rockman. If you're in Japan, he's named Rockman. If you're in America, his name, or like globally, his name's Mega Man. All right? Like, I don't know what to tell you. When you hear Capcom, the first thing that comes to mind, you think, oh, that's a company that literally does Mega Man. I guess some people would be like, oh, that's a company that also does Devil May Cry, too. And like Resident Evil, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. They do that, and Phoenix Wright, like, I heard Phoenix Wright got, a, like, a collection, and, like, we got an exclusive game that was regional locked to Japan. I don't know if I'm going to play the Phoenix Wright collection. I think I should, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, Dino Crisis, though, I will admit, like, since the PS1 era, like, no new Dino Crisis games. Uh, Resident Evil 4 2003, we are currently playing through that. I'm actually enjoying getting my ass kicked in it. <laughs> On standard, okay? I'm getting my ass kicked on standard. Uh, Devil May Cry 3, never played it. Resident Evil 2, I played the remake and I played the original. I beat the original with my little sister. Um, Monster Hunter World, Okami, Resident Evil, Code Veronica, never played it. But, like, the, like the Monster Veronica herself, like, I will admit, the amount of non hentai related re related art to like uh, like the uh, main villain and you know, Veronica is like so underwhelming. So, like, where's the schmentai? Where's the corn? Okay, where where's the corn? Where's the corn of that, that creature? Like of that girl? Where is it? Where is it? I need it. You know, I need like that plant tentacle action right up my boo hoo. Okay, like I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, yeah, uh, Okame, nice. You know, Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright, Monster Hunter World. Street Fighter VI, um, not a Street Fighter guy. I don't know what to tell y'all, I don't like Street Fighter, I like Soul Calibur. Um, Ace, Great Attorney 2, Ooh, The Resolve. Uh, Breath of Fire 3, yes, we need a new Breath of Fire game in general, all right, right. Last one we got, I think it was like Breath of Fire 4 or 5. We haven't gotten a new one. Megamon Legends, or as they call it in Japan. Rockman Dash. Yes. We need to get Me Rockman off the moon. We need to get Mega Man off the moon. Where's Legends 3? I want Legends 3. Give me Legends 3. I want it. I need it. Gotta have it. Give it to me now. Like, as soon as possible. I need it. I need to figure out if we save the blue bobber. I need that. Sadly, they know we want it. They know we need it. We, they know we desire it. 
And that's why they haven't come out with it. This is Capcom literally just being like business trolls. Uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Me. Monster Hunter World. Me. Like, I don't care. Top female all and male related games. Wow, the dudes do not care for Mega Man. Mm. But they do love that Resident Evil and Devil May Cry, though. Like, ladies, like... Go for here. Top 10 three generations. Okay, here we go. Top 10. Uh, 33 to the 40s. Mega Man X? 30s and 40s, so like that just does. I hate like my, my age, like 50s and 60s. Oh, you're kidding me! Okay, like introducing comments from Capcom fans about the favorite game, Mega Man. Mega Man and slash Rockman. It's so good, and Zero is still one of my favorite characters ever. Like, I love, I love Capcom. I really get an appreciation for a lot of IPs, even though I haven't played all of them. I want Mega Man X9 so badly. DMC Rocks, a new versus game, would be exciting to look forward to. Uh, I, I feel your pain. Like, we need X9, we need Legends 3. We like we we need that mega merch like Dino Crisis like nine, 90s kid yeah a great game not no I mean, like in retrospect Dino Crisis games even if you can find them in a used game store or online for the PS One or like Dreamcast or whatever those things are so expensive like hold on like they literally go over for like one like hold on like Dino Crisis we're we're literally gonna enter in Dino Crisis. The Dino, like, hold on, like, hold on, like, Dino Crisis. Yeah, M P R Price. All right, so like, let's find out, like. Because, like, I, I bet, like, they're, like, absurdly expensive. Not as expensive as it looks. Disc only, disc only, like. I mean, like, wow, some of them, like, go for, like, over 70 bucks. Wow. Like, Dino Crisis is literally, like, a, like. I thought it'd be more. I, I thought it'd be like over like a few hundreds or thousands and like. But no, that, that's just, that's a little surprising. That that is surprising. Like Resident Evil Japan, the world, the world Japan. Uh, like home top ten favorite Capcom game series. Biohazard slash Resident Evil Monster Hunter. Mega Man, yes! Mega Man, yes, Rockman, Rockman, yes, yes, yes. Devil May Cry, Ace Attorney, like you got all that. Like Breath of Fire Eight, we still need a new Breath of Fire series. Like versus Capcom, I love the versus Capcom stuff. I'm not gonna lie, like we get, just got like the Capcom versus like Marvel collection coming out, you know all that kind of stuff. That's freaking beautiful. I love that. Um, favorite uh, Capcom ranking game, Dante. Oh, it's on a PDF file. I'm not going to look at that. Like, favorite Capcom character? Dante, Leon, Scott, Kenny. Yeah, that's basically, like, every female VTuber ever is like, Leon, Leon, why, Ashley, why? Why not me? <laughs> that's just female gamers in a whole, like, they want Leon to put that gun somewhere. <laughs> they... Like, holy crap. So, um, four 
five, like Virgil's at four, zero's at five, Jill at six, Mega Man seven. Like, zero being pretty high. I'm not gonna lie, like, chicks like characters with long blonde hair. It's like very attractive to them, and like Zero is just one of like one of those attractive characters. Um, top ten versus Japan and world like characters. X is at three. Good. Uh, Zero is six. Mega Man at seven. So like you definitely see there's a cry for like Mega Man stuff worldwide. You can see like people like give us Mega Man. We want Rock Man. Give give it to us. You know like that's what they're like. Um. Japan's like, I, everyone's like, Dante, 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 Dante. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Amaterasu, Mega Man, Mega Man and Zero, Lanakaria, Mega Man EXE. I, I'm surprised at that since, like, the series is concluded. It is official, like, the series is 100% concluded. Like, Capcom's like, we're not going to come out with any more, or, like, main timeline story games of it. That's an interesting one. Top 10 male and female. Dante. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. Like, women, they want Leon to stick that gun somewhere. All right? I'm not going to lie. They want people. Like, women want Leon to stick his gun up somewhere. <laughs> I do not know why. Because, like, he's got tons of baggage. The guy has baggage. Like, you take him onto a plane, like, he doesn't have one or two bags, all right? No, like, he's literally gonna have a dump truck full of baggage, all right? It's just, like, an entire military cargo jet of baggage to take, all right? I don't know what to tell you other than he got problems. <laughs> like, Dante, like, like, ooh, Freaky Friday right here on this one. <laughs> uh, X, like, Miles Edgeworth, Zero, Amaterasu, Jill Valentine, Virgil, Virgil, Phoenix Wright, Mega Man, Jill Valentine, Phoenix Wright, Chucky, like, Ch uh, Chucky, like, who, who the heck is that? A uh, Regina, Dino Crisis, basically. Haruto, wait a minute, is that a character from Naruto? Like, I, I don't know who that is. Uh, Ryu from Street Fighter. I Claire Redfield. Um, top ten three generations of favorite characters. Let's see. Dante, Zero X, like tens and twenties, nice. Ten and twenty year olds, thirties and forties, X, Mega Man, Zero, not the like fifties and sixties, like uh, Mega Man Zero. Um like I don't know what to tell you, like, there's tons of people that literally want to be choked to death by Chun-Li's thick thighs, alright? I'm not one of them, though, like, I really don't like Chun-Li uh, as a whole, like, I don't know what Street Fighter character I really do like. I I'm not a Street Fighter guy. Arthur of Ghosts and Goblins series, not gonna lie, actually a pretty good character. Hiru Strider. Run the rock! <laughs> like, Hiru Strider. <laughs> I actually like that. So, introducing comments about the fans of the favorite characters. Dante's my favorite character ever. I would love to see more of him play A, these games. They're very fun. I'm not gonna lie, they are. Uh, Leon Scott Kenny, the biggest Resident Evil biohazard fangirl out there. I love to see more Resident Evil games with Leon Kenny. He's my favorite character in the series. I love to see him come back in the future games. I recently played RE2 when I, when I was a child and I admired Leon and inspired me to become a police officer. Oh, that's so freaking awesome. Congrats. Like, I, I don't know who you are, but congrats, you know? Like, games can influence the world for the better. I don't know what to tell y'all. Uh, X world compliment. Like, I've made so many friends through loving Mega Man. We are all so, uh, uh, waiting for its comeback. X is such a good character. Although I'm not a great action games, I love X. I try to do my best to get good at it. I really adore it. Like, Japan. No. Like, um, wow. 
10 most popular male characters. I guess, like, technically, X and Zero are not considered male since, like, they're robotic. Like, they're, they're robots, so they're, they're non-genderless. Uh, Lanakari and Mega Man, you know what? Nice. At least, like, you could argue, like, oh, Hub, you know, aka Mega Man and, like, Mega Man Star Force, like, there is, like, male and female genders for Navis. Like, there is genders for Navis. I will admit that. And Lanakari, you're like, he's a boy. He's a boy. The top most popular female characters, like, Charlie in Japan. Uh, wow, Jill Valentine, like, Regina, Claire Redfield, Jill Valentine, May Frey, like, holy crud. And Rachel's right behind me, judging me, like, saying, thinking in her head, like, what the fuck is he looking at? Um, like, Chun-Li in America, Aiden Wong, Cammy, Jury, uh, Sakura, uh, Kasano, Rebecca Chambers, uh, yeah, Cammy. Anina uh, from Bofi, uh, talking again, Kizura Kasume? Kazuma, Kazuma, Kira Kazuma, Akira Kazuma, uh, Jerry, like, Sonya Strong from Star Force. Okay, give it, give it up for the singer girl, like, at least, like, Mega Man got some, like, love here, I, I actually respect that. I would dare say Iris is far more popular than Sonya Strum. I'm just saying, like, for the Mega Man X series, like, Iris is, like, a whole nother level. Um, what do you look for Capcom games? Exhilarating gameplay, unique, interactive characters, unpredictable and exciting storyline, um, memorable moving BGM, depth and repeat play. I mean, that's always important. High difficulty levels to feel accomplished and superior. As a gamer, we all want to feel superior in games. Like, a novel worldview, superb graphics, gameplay worldwide, first time experience for a new and new generation. Top 10 versus top 10, the world versus Japan. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow, we got Rush. I would love to see IPs from the time return development. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie there. Like, returns such as Mega Man X, Breath of Fire, Darkstalkers. Like, hardly anybody remembers or, like, like Star Darkstalkers anymore. Like, they, they don't get the love that they should. I mean, it's a fighting game full of, like, Halloween monsters, real Halloween monsters, literally doing the monster bite. All right, like what the heck? Doc Starkers need that love. All right, like rival schools, the arm fully developed on consoles. Yeah, Japan, world, Japan. What image do you have of Capcom? Creative spirit. Um, I I would have to argue sometimes they're a little bit too creative, and they let that, obviously, like, creativity stop them from making a good game. When a company gets too ambitious and too creative, and they start making a game, and they realize, oh, wait a minute, like, there's, we're putting too much into it, they end up canceling a project. Capcom has been guilty of it. Um, a strong originality. Uh, strong original. Mega Man is just a play on Astro Boy. Resident Evil is from like horror movie genre, like like zombies. Devil May Cry is like, well, a new take on angels and demons in general. Like, there's nothing really original about them. I mean, like. The originality for, like, the stories and characters have always been out there. They've already been done to death, and Capcom just, like, puts their own twist on it. My argument is a strong creative twist. Uh, amazing creators and treasury. No! A uh, full of playfulness. It really depends on the person that you play, like, Capcom games with. 
um out for an or out of the ordinary as a compliment capcom can be out of the ordinary when they actually make a game in that is actually does something different for like a genre take take a look at like obviously the Mega man franchise when they went into like things like Mega man legends or even that Mega man x command mission those were interesting twists out of the it was literally just out of the blue like when this stuff happened when, when that stuff happened it was out of the blue no one expected it nobody wanted them and then they go like hell and yes this is awesome uh full uh pioneering spirit i i would have to argue on that capcom's not really like pioneer spirit um uh, beating in the world I mean, if you count Street Fighter, I guess, like, heating in the world, like Street Fighter, I guess. Uh, casually, it is, an HQ is located in Osaka, Japan. Yeah, all right, bet. I respect it. Uh, insistence of the extraordinary. But yet again, Capcom's not really extraordinary. They, they're good, I wouldn't say extraordinary. Uh, no specific image to have. The face of the company is literally Mega Man. They have an image, it's Mega Man. Like, creative spirit, full playfulness. Okay, so this is, there are, are any games in the series of spin-offs, the games would you like to see, you get a sequel or a new game? Yeah, Dino Crisis is crying out for a hero. Uh, Devil May Cry 3, Mega, Rock Man 2. Mega Man 2, like, Rock Man, aka Mega Man, and 2. Bad. Like, Breath of Fire still at, at like, 10. No, like, we, we need more Breath of Fire representation. There's Dark Starkers. Give us a new Dark Stalkers. I really want to kick somebody to S with QB one day, or even like Morgan, like, mm. and, you know, like those vampire or chicks on there, or like QB, you know, like the B girl. I, I I don't know what to tell you. Like I got a B girl fetish a bit. Um, World vs. Japan. Mega Man is even on this one. New sequel or a game? Bat. Got, you love to see it, male and female gamers. How much y'all want to bet? Even if Mega Man shows up, it's gonna be, gonna be on the bottom for females. Like females are gonna be like, nah, Mega Man doesn't have a gender, so he's a bottom bitch. Uh, Dino Crisis, Mega Man at two. I knew it. I called it bottom. Like a lot of women don't like Mega Man. Like I. What what is wrong with you chicks? Like tens and twenties, Mega Man at three. Like Monster Hunter, Dead Rising series, Doc Stalkers, Capcom versus Winston Evil, nice. Um, thirties and forties, Mega Man, not the. That makes me feel old. Uh, Doc Stalkers, fifty and sixty, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the older generation be thirsty. Check out the other rankings here. Completely remade with the latest technology, like Unamusho, not here, number one. Okay, so my thoughts, if it's not here, there's something going on. There is something going on, they're saying, hey, there's nothing here, so it's left up to interpretation. Like, there's something there. They just don't want to mention it because they're working on something. Number one is not here because Capcom's not willing to admit, hey, we're actually we're good on this. And it's up to us to figure this part out. Uh Breath of Fire, yes please. So they are they are literally mentioning, yeah, we hear you. We're working on something. But we don't want to say what it is. Like, holy crud. Like not here. 
Both sides not here. Oh. Oh, that speaks volumes. This this really just speaks so freaking hard. But this silence like this speaks volumes. If you know anything, the one thing the world for many of years have been outcrying the most is Mega Man Legends 3. There is a, a whole freaking movement behind this game. People want us to get come out. They want it to be a thing. There is such a massive movement. I kid you not. For Mega Man Legends 3 to be a thing. And if it's the world and Japan, both we, both say at the same time in unison, with this many votes saying, hey, give us Legends 3, or we're gonna freaking riot. But then obviously there's something there. There is something here where he's saying, hey, we want a game. And like I'm thinking like this is only for like Remake with the latest technology, introducing character design and story direction. I don't think it'll be Legends 3, but I think it may be something big. One of their biggest franchises with a new spin. They're literally, the world is saying in unison, give us a new game on this. I'm thinking it could either be something Mega Man X related, Or maybe Metal Slug. I think Capcom made Metal Slug. I could be wrong on that. If they did, like, it could be Metal Slug. Yeah, I hear your world screaming out Mega Man. What uh, was your first Capcom game ever played? Rockman, aka Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, like, well, it's not my first, but it's my favorite. Mega Man franchise will always be close to my heart. Um, Mega Man? Mega Man X4? Mega Man 2? Mega Man 2 was my first, but it's not my favorite. And will it be? Uh, holy crap. Top 10 versus the world. Like, world, Mega Man, Mega Man X, Mega Man 2. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. People are literally saying, like, give us Mega Man. We want Mega Man. Give us Mega Man. What the frick is wrong with you? We want Mega Man. Male and females, like, Mega Man. Like, some ladies do like Mega Man, and I respect that. But there's a lot of them out there, uh, they're like, he has no gender, so, like, frick him. You know, like, he, he has no pingers, you know, like, so we can't have our fun. Like, whatever. Uh, Tens of twenties, Mega Man X, Mega Man, Resident Evil, Mega Man 2. Like, Mega Man 3. Wow! Did not see that coming. That is out of left field. That that is literally like wow. That is surprising. Like fifties and sixties, nineteen forty-two. This started out as an arcade game and like brought out on Nintendo. <laughs> I don't think that would be a thing. Uh, Ghosts and goblins. Yeah, I understand. Sun and sun. I remember that game. I never played it, but I do know of its existence. Uh, Resident Evil, Volgus, uh, Commando, Respect, like Street Fighter 2, World Fighter, Mega Man, Street Fighter, the original, Savage Bees. Not the bees! Not the Savage Bees! Why the bees? Like, holy crap, like, you, you see this, like, Everybody's like, give us Mega Man. We want Mega Man. Give us Mega Man. What the fuck is wrong with you? We want Mega Man. Mega Man is the face of the company. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. I'll say it a thousand times. It is the face. It is their face. It is their biggest franchise. It's what has gotten them noticed. We've bought uh, uh, previous IPs. Wow, look at all those. Like, welcome to all your support from Cap. If I knew this was going on, I would put like my votes in here. Uh, 
uh, my thoughts on all this, like you saw all that, you know, like get the feel, like people want Capcom to do right. They want it to do right. They want you they the world wants Capcom to do their freaking job. They, we need them to do their freaking job. I, I feel your pain. Uh, I feel your pain, everyone. I really do. Like, oh, like I'm trying to find this one that is. Now I'm freaking lost. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah. Like, I feel all the gamers' pain out there. Like, they want Capcom to bring, like, Mega Man back. I'm one of them. Like, Mega Man's the greatest IP. It is the image of the company. It's what made the, um, top tier. Like, it's what's made them so respected and well-renowned. And I love them for it. Capcom is like one of the biggest companies and out there. And their biggest face of the company is Mega Man. It is Rock Man. It is their general playboy, all right? It, it is their playboy. It is the face. It is the image. It is the career choice. It is the thing that put Capcom on the map. But, truth the fact of the matter is, despite how much we ask them and how much we demand, like, Capcom will be Capcom. They, they will not do, like, communications. They will not talk about, like, oh, what they're working on, how they're working on it. So, I want to go over, like, other things, like, oh, like, what other games you're looking forward to, Commander? Oh, me, I'm looking forward to the new Doom game, like, Doom Dark Ages, like, Doom Guy. Like, our Lord and Savior, Doom Guy, all right? Like, killing demons. I, I, I've actually played 2016 Doom, com beat it completely. I still haven't gotten, like, Doom Eternal's, like, DLC packs. I really need to do that. Uh, I'm doing myself a huge injustice not playing that. Uh, let's see here. I'm not an Elden Ring player. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, games like Elden Ring, like, I'm afraid of breaking, like, a $40 controller then, like, gonna have to find some way to replace it. <laughs> Controllers are not cheap for me, right? I ain't no freaking Farfa. I'm willing to take the controller and slam it against the wall or, like, a keyboard and, like, overall slam it against, like, a door or, like, my desk or, like, the chunk of an entire computer to the wayside. Like, what the heck's wrong with people these days? Like, gamer rage be out of control. Like, I would have to say, out of my entire gamer career... I have never raged so hard that I destroyed a gaming system. I've never done that. And I'm so glad that I have it. Um, I mean, let's see here. What other games have I ever played? Like, because I know I just talked about it bunch of single player games but what about online games? I remember playing RuneScape way back in the day. It was mid. Like I still see RuneScape as mid. Like lower mid, alright? If I if I would have to play like an online multiplayer game again that's really innovative and creative and like a lot of fun. It, it would have to be Adventure Quest Worlds, AQ Worlds, but I really don't like their membership prices. They're way too high. Uh, as far as stuff like Team Fortress 2. I don't think I can trust Valve with Team Fortress 2. I don't think I can trust them to do a competent job. 
yes, the bots are finally being like, like, you know, the bots, the, like, hackers are being dealt with, and all that kind of stuff, and, like, people are rejoicing. Here's the thing with me, I don't trust Valve. I don't trust them with their own freaking IPs. I give it less than, like, two months, or, like, everything goes, like, to hell again. I give it less than two months for the bots return, the hackers come back, they find new ways and new methods, and they plague the servers again. Like, I'm not going to open myself to the uh, humiliating pain. All right? I, no, just, just no. I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm not going to do that to myself and my credibility as a content creator and, like, you know, all that. But as far as, like, other games, like, I do like playing Apex. I'm trying to get better at it um, as a shooter game. I want to get Fortnite on my new PC. Like, obviously, I want to start playing that again. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, let's see here. There's not any, like, really new games that I saw at the game show that I really want to play, though. All the new games that have been announced, like, the only one that piqued my interest was the new Doom game. Um, probably the Phoenix Wright collection, because, like, I mean, like, it has piqued my interest before. And I thought, what if I ever played it? Would I like it? I, I don't know. Uh, Dark Starters, like, I do want to play that. I want to play that sometime. But the only way I'm going to be able to play that is through an emulator, and, like, a lot of companies have been attacking people that use emulators online because they see that as a form of pirating instead of, like, oh, just, like, creating content, you know, give, and literally giving them, like, you know, like, free... Yeah. Free publicity, like what the heck? It's free publicity. When you attack free publicity, people all like start to turn on you. And like there is an issue with that though, because like some of these people end up releasing the game like way early before they were, like supposed to. And, like, with Nintendo, they notice that with, like, Breath of the Wild and, like, Mario Brother games, and that's why they lash out. And that's where, like, a lot of these companies have, like, issues with, like, you know, these emulators. It really depends on the emulation service and how they do things. I cannot uh, say that, uh, you know, I cannot condone what some of these emulator services do. Oh, with that. Um, I will not condone it. I will not accept it. You know, games of the past are fine. You know, like, games of the past are fine, but games that haven't come out yet, like, what the hell y'all doing? What the hell y'all doing? And, like, with fan projects, like, there's certain, like, companies that don't like fans doing their own projects, making their own games for their IPs. I would have to say, like, Final Fantasy and, like, uh, Mega Man or Capcom, like, Square Enix and Capcom are pretty chill on that. Uh, I do believe. Depending on, like, how you handle it. Like, Capcom really doesn't give a damn. But Square Enix is like, hey, like, you either have it, like, kind of follow, like, the story or timeline events of, like, the game. Or we're, we're just gonna kick you in the ass. You know, like we're gonna, we're we're just gonna take you to the courtroom and beat you like a government mule. They are, they will be like that. They be like that. So, like when you like do your own like Final Fantasy stuff, like you gotta make sure it fits within like universe or timeline or planet or like whatever you know, like whatever, whatever, whatever. As long as it fits somehow in like our universe that we built, you know, like we don't really give a damn. If it's believable that it can work, then it'll work. Ah, uh, that's Square Enix for ya. Like, 
So, woo. There are game companies that have leadway. I guess the next thing when I talk about, like, obviously y'all know I've been playing D&D. It's a lot of fun. But there was a recent controversy with, like, Games Workshop. I want to bring this up because, like, do you know a way to destroy an image of a company? Do you know the one surefire way to destroy your own company is to attack your own fan base? They have been doing that in order to clean up, like, the history of, like, Warhammer 40k storyline. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Games Workshop? I tell you what's wrong with them. They want that money. They don't care about, like, the story or the timeline or, like, discrepancies or, like, mistakes or accidents or past figurines being brought out. Games Work like, Shop is like, oh, you're doing something with our IP? Stop it. Stop it or we'll sue. Stop it or we'll sue. That, that's Games Workshop. I don't care for Warhammer because of them. At one time, I thought, oh, it'd be pretty cool to get uh, get into, like, Warhammer, you know? Like, I thought, like, hey, it's pretty cool. They look like a pretty chill company, you know? Like, Brother Alpha Beast that makes this content, you know? Like, all these others do what they do. And then they started doing this. And then, like, chill factor's gone. Chill, fun chill factor's gone with Warhammer. Like, fuck them. Fuck Game Workshop. Fuck them. You know, like, you know, like. Let, let me get my cannon and sword out and just blow the and blow their business apart and cut uh, their brains out. Their greedy little oh, corrupted brains and hearts. I, I'm going to be real. I will always massively respect Warhammer. But I will not go out of my way to support Games Workshop. They already get shit tons of money. For like their models, their figurines, everything. Those things are so freaking expensive. I go to like my local like shop, obviously like my locals, or I go into like a game store. I see the Warhammer stuff. It goes for somewhere like fifty, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred dollars for like those figurines, and like depending like how big or how detailed they are, they really go that expensive. They make a boatload of money off that. Not only like the store, but Game Workshop. They make a whole shit ton of money. And when you treat your fan base like this, you're going to wonder like, who hits you with the stupid stick? Who hits you with the stupid stick and laced with barbed wire, thorns, Freaking spikes dipped in liquid hot uh, radioactive magma and just beat your brains with a stupid stick so freaking hard you'd be like this. No! No, just no! I admit, like, Games Workshop is the equivalent of Blizzard for, like, tabletop. Games Workshop is the equivalent of Blizzard as tabletop. I know it's gonna piss off a lot of y'all, but I'm I'm like, fuck it, I don't really care. Alright, these are my thoughts and views on Games Workshop, and they are the way they are. They're not gonna change, like, fuck them. Like, they're not gonna learn from their mistakes, they're not gonna fix themselves, they're not gonna apply themselves, so like, fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. I don't wanna get involved. Y'all know my stance on Yu-Gi-Oh, so, like, these days, like, I really can't enjoy playing anything Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I tried, like, just finally, like, going, like, all right, maybe I should, like, play Dueling Nexus for a little bit. Like, I got it right here. Like, I thought, oh, like, maybe I should play Dueling Nexus. And I go, like, I really don't want to because, like, I just can't enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole just, like, it hurts. I feel guilty. I feel angry. I feel upset. I feel like all these negative emotions. Just talking about it. Just wanted to play it. Just wanted to like just 
experience it. I just feel so disgusted, like horrified and hurting. Not good. It's not good for someone like me to feel this way about a game they love. And when I feel this way, like yeah, we're gonna put that we're gonna put an A on that. So yeah. Uh I heard there's a Final Fantasy VIII, not remastered, but remake coming out. When that comes out, I'm getting it. No joke, no scam. I'd be like, take my money. Take my money. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Take my money. Take my money. I want it. Like, even if it's like the pre-game of like Logana Lore's like story, like, take my money. Take my money right here and now, Square Enix. I'll take it. Like, hmm. Nah, I, I, want, I want that shit. I love eight. Like, eight's my favorite. Final Fantasy VIII, my absolute favorite type of game. All right? So, yeah. Oh, take my money. Thanks. Take my money. All right, for eight. But, uh, yeah, like, overall, I just wanted to talk about video games a bit. You know, a short little, like, just chatting about video games. And what I'm looking forward to, obviously, and, like, new games that I've heard about. Not very many I've heard about, but I've heard about games. Um, we went over, like, the Capcom voting poll. We went over, like, you know, like, what games I'm looking forward to and what I want to purchase, you know. I don't know what to tell you other than, like, do it. Just, just do it. Like, get these games out there. Make them good. Make them fun. Make them, um, like, iconic make it where like everybody will love them like i'm sick and tired of gotcha games like and like i'm sick and tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm sick and tired of Yu-Gi-Oh and gotcha games they're so freaking like they're a money pit gotcha games are a money pit um yeah it just yeah just yeah i really really don't care what gotcha games I know as a VTuber, like, it helps me succeed, but the only one I ever play right now, sort of, is, like, Ever Crisis every, every other day. Like, I really do enjoy it, but it's, like, really limited for me to enjoy it. Um, and I've decided, like, not to play gotcha games on live streams. Because, like, I, I really don't like gotcha games. I really do not care for gotcha games. Gotcha games will get you. Uh, yeah. So, yet again, July, like, 12th, Rachel will make our debut late night, you know, like, late in the afternoon. Uh, July 11th, I'm gonna be, like, trying to bridge the gap of, like, you know, the rest of my passion. And, like, I just want to talk about video games and what I'm looking forward to in the near future, like, I want to bridge that gap of my favorite animes, like cartoons, comic books, manga, like products, all that kind of stuff. I want to get more of a feel, uh, I want y'all to get a more of a feel, like, you know, the person behind the commander. Like, get an understanding of, like, my passion and, like, what I like and like, what I do. And what I plan to do with these passions in the near future. So please like, subscribe, follow, sub, you know, uh, across all platforms. Terms, you know, like, don't be afraid to join, like, the overall, like, community Discord. It's there. It's waiting. You know, we're waiting for more people to join. Uh, you must be 18 years older. I'm going to be real. If I find out, oh, you're a scammer account or you're 18 years or younger, like, your butt's gone. Your butt's gone, you're out of there. Like, I do not care for, like, Discord scammer accounts. Your butt will be gone. Uh, thank y'all so much. And I, like, as a content creator, I'm like, fuck them kids. You know, like, I don't, I don't want kids to watch my content. They're not good for business. Even though, like, they watch, and they're still not good for, they're not good for my image. They're not good for my business. All right? Thank y'all so much. I'm out of you later.
All right. Bring it up. All right, this ring's done. I'm outie.